course on engineering graphics in our module 5 we were discussing about isometric projection let us continue our discussion the problem number 10 of our discussion states that a cone base diameter of 45 millimeters and height 65 millimeters is placed centrally on the top face of the pentagonal prism of side 45 mm and height 35 mm draw the isometric projection of the combination of solids so in order to draw the isometric projection of given combination wherein which cone is resting on the pentagonal prism so in the top view if i look at this combination of solids when these solids are resting on hp without inclining to any of the planes in the top view i can see the cone as a circle of diameter 45 millimeters and i can see the pentagonal top face of this prism so therefore in the top view one one should draw a pentagon of side 45 mm and from the center of the pentagon construct a circle of diameter 45 mm using this top view of the combination of solids extract the front view by taking the projection let us draw the top view of the combination of solids given so if i do that i will get first let us consider the pentagon the length of this pentagon prism base and top face are 45 millimeters therefore drawing 45 millimeters base Mark 72 degrees on either corners of this 45 mm vertical line, which is 72 degrees exterior and 108 degrees interior. Now, draw the H whose dimension is 45 millimeters inclined at an angle of 72 degrees exterior and 108 degrees interior to the previously drawn H. Now using compass we measure this 45 mm length and cut arcs from either side to complete the pentagon. Joining which I get the required pentagon in the top view. I have drawn such a way that I get corner towards my right hand side. So this completes the required pentagon. Now identify the center of this pentagon by drawing the perpendicular bisectors from any two corners to their opposite side. If I do that, I will get draw a very thin line. Now, try the perpendicular bisector from this corner, the opposite edge is this one. So, identify the center of this edge and draw the perpendicular bisector. Thereby, we have identified the center. Now, from this center, we construct a circle of diameter 45 millimeters. Now, constructing a circle of diameter 45 millimeters, now dark the top view of this combination of solids, taking the projection vertically upwards and marking the 
axis of the pentagonal prism whose height is 35 mm since we have a prism the longer edges are parallel to the axis of this pentagonal prism so therefore draw the longer edges whose dimension is 35 mm which are parallel to the axis of this pentagonal prism now connecting the top and bottom face of this pentagonal prism i'll get the required length this completes the front view of the required pentagonal prism now taking the projection of this cone and marking the axis of this cone to identify the vertex extend the axis to the height of 65 mm if i do that i will get now from the vertex of this cone connect to the base circle to get the required front view of the cone this completes the required front view and top view of the given combination of solids mark the dimensions now to draw the isometric projection of this pentagonal prism first you close this pentagon in a rectangle so if i close the pentagon in a rectangle the dimension of the rectangle enclosing the pentagon will be 70 mm cross 75 mm so therefore first you transfer this 70 mm cross 75 mm rectangle to the isometric sheet and draw the isometric projection of this rectangle let me take this as the reference this bottom corner as the reference if i do that i will get 70 mm side towards my right hand side and 75 mm side towards my left hand side so therefore select two lines in your isometric sheet which are inclined at an angle of 30 degrees select seven boxes towards right hand side and select 7.5 boxes towards left hand side this completes marking seven boxes towards right hand side and 7.5 boxes towards left hand side now draw the parallel lines to complete the isometric projection of the required rectangle now selecting seven boxes and 7.5 boxes which are inclined at 30 degrees this completes the isometric projection of required rectangle of dimension 70 mm cross 75 mm now on the 75 mm side measure the corners 1 and 2 if i measure i am getting these corners at a distance of 15 mm from either side so transfer 1.5 boxes from either side now on the 70 mm side this corner is coming at a distance of 27 mm from the right hand corner so therefore measuring 27 mm from right hand corner 
which is nothing but 2.7 boxes from right hand corner transfer the corner number 3. So similarly, these two will be lying on a same straight line. So therefore, again we will transfer 2.7 boxes from right most corner choosing 2.7 boxes mark corner number 4. Now finally, corner number 5 is exactly at the centre of this 75 mm side. So therefore, mark the centre of this 7.5 boxes so this completes the transferring of required 5 corners corner 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 now join these corners to complete the isometric projection of required pentagon so if we do that I will get completes the isometric projection of required pentagon of side 45 millimeters in an isometric sheet. Now to identify the center of this isometric projection of pentagon, draw the perpendicular bisectors from the corner to the opposite edge. Identify the center and draw the perpendicular bisector from the corner to the opposite edge. Identify the center and draw the perpendicular bisector from the corner to the opposite edge. This will give you the center of this isometric projection of pentagon. So now from the center of the pentagon, you mark the height of the axis. The height of the axis is 35 millimeters. So therefore, draw a vertical line of 3.5 boxes with a very thin line. If I mark the centers, we have center O1, O2, and O3. So this is center O1. I identify the center O. As we all know, the longer edges of the pentagonal prism are parallel to each other and the length of these longer edges are 35 millimeters. Therefore, from all the 5 corners, draw the vertical line of 3.5 boxes. If I do that, I will get drawing 3.5 boxes vertically upwards in the isometric sheet to represent the 35 mm side longer edges from all the 5 corners now join these 5 corners which we have exacted by drawing the 3.5 boxes vertical lines to complete the isometric projection of pentagonal prism now taking center O2 as reference I should draw this circle of diameter 45 mm by 4 cm 4 center metal. So therefore, if I enclose this 45 mm diameter center in a square, I will get a square of dimension 45 mm cross 45 mm. So therefore, keeping this O2 as reference, construct a square such a of side 45 mm such a way that this O2 will be the center of that isometric projection of square what we are going to draw. In order to do that, I want the grids the line inclined at an angle of 30 degrees. If I construct the grid at center O2, I will get
Now to consider the square of 45 mm cross 45 mm, it should have 22.5 mm, 22.5 mm, 22.5 mm, and 22.5 mm. So in an isometric sheet, you have to satisfy that one should select 2.25 boxes vertically upwards, 2.25 boxes vertically downwards. 2.25 boxes towards left and 2.25 boxes towards right. Since I am drawing it for a scale of 2 is to 1, I should select 4.5 boxes. Whereas you people should select 2.25 boxes. If I do that, selecting 2.25 boxes for you people upwards and 2.25 boxes downwards and 2.25 boxes towards left 2.25 boxes towards right now complete the required square of sides 4.5 boxes plus 4.5 boxes so this completes the required square of dimension 4.5 boxes plus 4.5 boxes with center O2. So now with this as center, I should construct a circle by 4 cm. So marking the centers as center C1 and center C2, construct the circle by 4 cm. So to do that, Draw the perpendicular bisector from center C1 to opposite edges and also from C2 to opposite edges to identify the center C3 and C4. Now to do that, again you select 2.25 boxes on all the sides, marking 2.25 boxes on all the four sides. Drawing the perpendicular bisector from center. And also from C2. I'll get centers C3 and C4. Now using compass, keeping at center C1, taking the perpendicular bisect drawn by C1 as radius. Draw an arc connecting the two perpendicular bisectors drawn from center C1. Similarly, keeping at center C2, taking the perpendicular bisector as radius, draw an arc to connect the perpendicular bisector drawn from center C2. Now, keeping at center C3, close this arc. Similarly, keeping at center C4, close this arc. This completes the required isometric position of circle of diameter 45 mm by 4 cm. Now, to identify center O3 from center O2, you measure 6.5 boxes vertically upwards. So, marking 6.5 boxes vertically upwards, I will get center O3. Now, draw the tangent from center O3 to the circle drawn by 4 cm to complete the isometric projection of cone. Now, dark the visible edges curves to identify the isometric projection of combination of solids. If I do that, I will get these two slant 
generators of this cone are completely visible. So that will be slant generator. This is nothing but a tangent to the circle drawn by force and method. Now, from the point of tangent, you dart the curve which is visible. And the top face of pentagon which is visible portion for us should be darkened. So darken the top face of this pentagonal prism by taking the portion which is visible. This completes the top face of the pentagon which is visible to us and coming for the longer edges, longer edge number 1, longer edge number 2 and longer edge number 3 are visible. Whereas longer edges 4 and 5 are invisible. Coming for the bottom face of this pentagon, only these two edges are visible to us, whereas these three edges are invisible. So, marking the visible edges of the Top face edge which is visible and also this edge is visible. So this completes the marking of top face of the pentagonal prism which is completely visible. Coming for the longer edges, visible longer edges are longer edge number one, longer edge number two, and longer edge number three. Whereas the longer edges 4 and the longer edge 5 are invisible. Coming for the base edges of the bottom face which are visible. So base edge number 1, base edge number 2 are visible. Whereas the edge 4, 5 and 3 are invisible. So only these two base edges are visible in the bottom face whereas these three base edges in the bottom face are invisible. This completes the isometric projection of required combination of solids. But in isometric projection one should not show any construction lines, any hidden lines and also any angles so, and any invisible curves. So if I remove invisible curves, edges and Construction lines, the final isometric projection of the given combination of solid will look like. This completes the given problem.
so this is the required isometric projection this is the required front view for the given combination of solids this is the top view of the given combination of solids and this is the final isometric projection of given combination of solids if i solve this same problem in an isometric sheet the problem will look like this so this is solution for the given problem drawn in an isometric sheet